Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Tour YouTube channel. In today's video I'm bringing you a Tour Tries episode so this is hopefully going to be quite a quick video and I just wanted to show you something that I'd made that's Christmas related and I wanted to upload it at the beginning of December so that you guys have got time to make it yourself if you're interested in this as well. So as you'll see from the title this is for a dog Christmas stocking so here's what I made. So my dog is called Sammy, so that's why there's the S um, on here. So um, yeah, if you're interested in finding out what pattern I used to make this and all of the details, then do keep watching. So in terms of the pattern for the stocking itself, so the main actual stocking part of this and also the paw bits at the bottom as well, that comes from Yarnspirations, so I just found it on their website. It's available for free, which is really good, and it's made by someone called Michelle Wilcox. Um, so she has got other patterns available and I'll speak a bit more about her later on. In terms of the pattern itself and the difficulty and the stitches used and things like that, so it's very basic stitches that are used in this, so it's like single crochet, double crochet, treble crochet and I think half double crochets as well, so um, there's no particularly complicated stitches in this uh, and it's all in US terminology as you will have noticed by the fact that I said single crochet. Um, and on the pattern itself it's sort of designated as easy and I think I would agree with it it is quite easy to be honest to follow um, this pattern so I do think that if you're a beginner level you probably can have a go at it um, and if you're having any issues with it then just drop it in the comments below and I can help you out. So as I mentioned the pattern designer is called Michelle Wilcox and I've not heard her name before so I had a quick google and I can see that on Ravelry she has about 11 pages worth of crochet designs so she's got loads of stuff on there. I think it's probably a mixture of free and paid stuff and it looks like most of her stuff is uh, published in magazines and on websites and things like that so it looks like she kind of works for some different um sort of crochet publications so I would recommend having a look on her Ravelry it looks like she's got some other Christmas patterns too but she's also got some normal um, non-Christmas related stuff on there so I'm sure I'll probably have a little look through and see what other patterns she's got. In terms of specifics for what I ended up making so I did use like I say the um, sort of base pattern to get the shape of the paw stocking and then also these uh, paw prints at the bottom. So in her original pattern though she does put a bone at the top here um, and to be honest I didn't really like how that looked so I ended up kind of adapting the pattern and I added an S instead and I got this pattern from Happy Berry Crochet on YouTube which is an absolute classic. If you like crochet you've probably seen one of her videos before. She has tons of good tutorials up on her channel but I just followed that to get the S shape and then I stitched that onto the stocking and then I also decided to add some tinsel trim so this was um, made using this yarn so this is Scipia's uh, Panda Sparkle so I would recommend this this does give a really nice tinsely effect at the top it is quite difficult to work with but um, the good thing is in this kind of pattern if you drop a few stitches and miss a few it doesn't really matter like you can't really tell because of how um, like the texture of the tinsel you can't really see the underlying stitches beneath it so you can kind of work quite messily with this and it still looks really good in the end um, and then in terms of what I used for the actual stocking itself I just used some Aran weight yarn and I used a five millimeter crochet hook this time um, which does mean that it works up a lot quicker than it would do um, using like a smaller hook like a four millimeter crochet hook which is what I usually use so yeah I really like that it didn't give too many big holes either so I think five millimeter and Aran weight yarn is perfect for this pattern. So my overall thoughts on the pattern itself is that I think it's a really good pattern. I really like the method that she used, which she actually, you sort of chain all the way down the middle and then you work round the chain going like backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. And I think that's a really good method. It means that both of the sides that you create are exactly the same and then you just sew them together in the end. And I think it kind of really um, emphasises the appearance of the look of the kind of paw print at the bottom here I just think it was a really good technique and it maybe wasn't something that I would have thought of doing if I was trying to come up with a pattern for this myself so I thought it was quite clever but it's also fairly simple as well um so yeah I, I really like the pattern I don't really have any complaints other than like I said I didn't really like how the bone at the top looked so that's why I 
amended the pattern to sort of fit what I wanted but that's what's good about the pattern you can kind of customize it however you want so it just gives you that nice base shape of a paw print stocking so yeah I thought this was a really good pattern I would definitely recommend that you have a go at it if you've got a dog and you celebrate Christmas then you may as well make one of these and as I mentioned previously if you're struggling with any aspects of the pattern just drop it in the comments below and I can help you with that but um that's going to be it for today's video so yeah all in all a really good pattern and I love it when you know you find a good free pattern um it's always good when you don't have to pay for it as well so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye guys